Guys, cube defense is updated again. I am back. It is time to cover this epic event. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check out where all of the eggs are located because you guys really want to know where those are found. And I'm going to be covering you guys, get you that information. But before we do that, before we do that, we got to do a few disclaimers. And one of them is to please subscribe because, you know, this channel is a really good channel and uh, it's definitely worth it if you subscribe. You don't have to. It's your choice. I did that for far too long. Let me actually get to the uh, real disclaimers here. First disclaimer is that a lot of the eggs that I'm going to show you are very, very easy to find. I highly encourage you to go look for these eggs first before watching this video um, and just come back once you get stuck on some and hopefully find them that way and hopefully only use this video for ones that you're stuck on. If not, I guess that's your choice, but I would have a lot more fun if I went searching for them. So the second one, note that a lot of these eggs do have random spawn locations. They're not always in the same spot, uh, so you may not find them where I show them to you exactly in the video, but I I should clarify to you uh, most if not every single time whenever they randomly spawn and where they could be spawning um, for at least some of them uh, there are a lot of them that just spawn openly and around the map and for most of those they are very obvious to see and so their random spawn location isn't that big of a deal you should be able to find them relatively easy finally note that some of these are going to need to be defabbed so you are going to have to have some sort of defense to keep yourself alive in some situations I do not know what your best defense is for uh, keeping yourself alive long enough to defab some things, but I prefer to use blade spinner. But again, if you are lower level, you can choose another tower. I, that's up to you to decide how your strategy works for surviving. Again, you're going to need defabricator and note if you do not have the defabricator game pass, it's going to take you longer to defab these objects. So do note that as well. Now that I've gone through all of that, let's talk about the first egg. And honestly, it's the basic egg and it's been sitting here in the, the video screen the entire time. There she is. Also note, I forgot to mention this. You can't actually find these in sandbox. Um, these are not available in sandbox. So you do have to do actual game modes for this. You will not be finding them in sandbox at all. All right, so let's talk about where all these eggs are located. So the first one is the silver egg found on the siege map. This is a very easy one. All you've got to do is join the siege map and uh, you should pretty quickly see it. It's just going to be in the town center somewhere. Not that hard to find. Should be quick and easy and you're pretty good. Next one is the king egg. This one is a little more difficult. One of the more unique ones because you have to go and you have to activate three little switches, buttons, whatever you want to call them. Uh, once you activate them, they will turn green. And once you have done all three of them, you should be able to walk up the path in the back of the map up the hill onto that platform where the king egg will be resting and you'll be able to obtain that egg however it will not be there until after you've activated those three little buttons so make sure you do that first next egg is the gold egg found in the U park map this is the only one that actually requires more than one person you will need four players to activate this egg you have to all join the U park map and step on the buttons those same buttons that we talked about a couple videos ago and once you all step on those buttons the egg will spawn in the center and you can all move off to go get that egg next egg ancient ruby egg found on the volcanic plane map this one is going to be another one of those randomly spawning ones that could go anywhere i found mine way up high on the cliffs but do note that they could spawn lower it just it just depends on where red guy decided to put this egg and its spawn points but it shouldn't again be too hard to find if you go looking around a little bit you should have enough time before the game starts to actually find this egg Next one is the first egg that we actually have to defab is the anti-gravity egg found on the endless battlescape map. This one is going to be easier than most because you should be able to see this egg before you actually defab because it has particle effects. You should be able to see it if it's inside two of the three mountains. Uh, if it's inside either of those two mountains, you should be able to see particle effects emitting from the side of that mountain if you look closely and wait you should be able to eventually see particles emitted from those mountains if not it's most likely going to be in that middle one you're gonna to have to defab the middle one 
Uh, do note again that if you don't have the defabricator game pass, this is going to take double the amount of time it takes me, so it may take you a bit longer and you're going to have to survive a little longer. So do note that. Next one is the volcanic egg found in the volcano map. This is one of the harder ones and probably one that a lot of you guys need help with. This is probably, in my opinion, the hardest to obtain as you have to survive a long time on a hard map in a harder difficulty. Volcano map is only found on hard mode and chaos mode survival endless and cube apocalypse every single one of those game modes is very very difficult um, and you're going to need a good amount of defensive capabilities to pull that off also note that defabricating the rock that i'm showing you here is going to take you quite a while even with the defabricator game pass so you're gonna have to have a good defense uh, to survive. I almost died, actually. I was I was struggling myself. I barely managed to grab that egg before it was too late. So do note that this is going to be a very difficult egg for you to obtain. And I would definitely suggest having help here in obtaining this egg. Next one is the sun egg found on the Dusty Dunes map. This one's a very obvious one. It's just gonna be spawning randomly on the map. Shouldn't be too hard. It's a very plain map. I'm not worried too much about you guys finding that one. The next one, Ancient Sapphire Egg found in the Roblox City map. This egg is also simple, um, but it's going to take you some time as you have to defab a lot of the skyscrapers trying to find this egg. I found it in this skyscraper twice, but uh, I was told that it can actually spawn on many, many, many skyscrapers. So you're going to have to search for more than just one. So make sure you're paying attention and defabricating multiple skyscrapers uh, to try to obtain this one. The next one is the nuclear egg found in the harbor map. This one's actually surprisingly easy. Uh, I don't know if this is the only spawn point for it, but um, it was found for me up on the crane and all I had to do was climb the side of the crane. There should be an invisible ladder there. Uh, you should be able to climb that and reach the top and easily get that nuclear egg. One too hard for me. Hopefully it won't be too hard for you guys. The diamond egg is found on the temple map and this one is very similar to the Roblox city map sapphire egg. Uh, you have to defab the pillars in hopes that you find the right pillar and get the diamond egg. Again, should have to survive a little bit, not too long. Don't worry too much about this one. Just get yourself a defabricator and some defense, survive a little bit, keep placing defabs, you'll get it pretty quick and you'll be good. Next one, ancient emerald egg found in the archipelago's map. This one is another easy one, but probably one of the harder random spawn points map because it's going to spawn somewhere on the map. Again, it shouldn't take you too long to find, but it's going to be a little more hidden than the rest. I wouldn't worry too much though. Their spawn points, even, even with them being a little more hidden, are still pretty easy to find. Just look around the entire map, look behind cliffs. You should be able to find it eventually. Hopefully this shows you at least most of the spawn points of this egg, if not all of them i do not know for certain if it's all of them but hopefully most of the spawn points you can see here the next egg is the thunder egg found on the bucket shrine map and this is probably the second hardest egg to obtain it's a very uh, elusive find but if you look here you will see that off this cliff is a little box that is a bit lighter gray than the rest in the wall and if you go up to it you can press e open that wall, go in and obtain the thunder egg right there. Shouldn't be too hard. Uh, you just got to find it. And hopefully this makes it pretty easy for you guys. Next one is the egg of life found in the jungle map. This is another defabricator one. Just defab the hills. Hope you get the right one. Shouldn't take you too long. It's probably the easiest defabricator one in my opinion. Uh, it's going to not be too hard to defab all of those hills and obtain that egg. Next one is the mana egg found in the neighborhood map. This one's actually, at least for me, it was found underwater. Um, I found it just sitting in the water. So check underwater to see if you can find it down there. If not, just check around the map. Should be an obvious spot, but uh, that's where I found it at least. And finally, the last egg, the abyss egg found on the Lost Island map. This requires a lot of defabrication. You've got to defab that center hill. Uh, this took me a bit and the HPs of those hills are quite high so you may have to survive for a good portion to actually obtain this egg uh, but eventually you should be able to get through that hill and obtain that egg then you've got everything to go and you are good to attempt the cube quest event which we will be covering very soon on this channel so be watching out for that video where we go and attempt cube quest hopefully that'll happen very soon um, but yeah 
I am very excited to attempt this with you guys. But uh, yeah, if you guys all did enjoy, make sure you consider subscribing down below. You don't have to, your choice, not mine. And like the video if you enjoyed. But with that, thank you everybody so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.